do you know what? I, I've had this um, before, you know, and in the gym that I go to, I, I see the personal trainers giving the best advice that they know to give, but having sort of um, absorb myself in Doug McGuff's body by science and my own experimentation, I kind of know what's best for me. But I've always gone up to people afterwards and said, hey, look, you know, there's another way. This is what I did. And I love getting my picture out and saying, look, this is what I used to look and feel like. Uh -huh. And I end up pointing people to websites to read, especially Mark's Daily Apple, because it's just such a great read and it puts everything across in a manner that everyone's going to understand. Mm -hmm. but I think the motivation behind it to really just say to people is like, you've got nothing to lose in trying something different. If you keep doing the same thing every day, you're always going to get the same results. So is there really any harm with trying something that maybe seems a little crazy? Yeah. 30 days is all you've got to try and then look at how you feel afterwards yes. and then make a decision an experiment because everyone's different there's no one diet that fits all and no matter what the trainers say in the gym about the treadmill and the cardio machines you can't exercise your way out of a bad diet nope. not at all but you've got to believe in yourself and believe that you can do it the one thing that people always say when you, you tell them about paleo, the whole thing in their mind is about what they can't eat. Yes. Oh, I can't do that. I can't live without my bread. I can't live without pasta. But what if you really had to? You could then. So you just... You just, have, you just might have to. I mean, if you want, want to, if you want to get better. Yeah. But I, all I can do when I talk to people is just... You know, tell them how I feel. Tell them how I got there. I don't want to force anyone to do this kind of lifestyle. They really don't want to. Right. But I would implore people to just try it for 30 days. Do the research. I spent time reading to just know if this rung true with me. And there's some great people out there, you know. You know, the whole, the whole Nine website, those guys have got their 30 days and they've got some great info on there. It's your site. Um, Kurt Harris, is, you know, if you're really that geeky and you want the numbers, that man has got oh, expert opinion, advice, all based on science and fact. Yep. You can't go wrong with the internet, it's all out there. So just see what rings true, give it a go, give it a month, and if you don't feel any better, hey, at least you got off your ass and you gave it a go. Because no one can take it away from you, the fact that you actually had a go. <laughs> There you go. Yeah. I think I think you're you're a good ambassador for this, uh, Ricky. You got a really nice smile, and you're really enthusiastic. And uh, uh, you know, we're gonna put some pictures up, and people are gonna see. You know, and, oh, and it's, not just, it's it's not just yeah, yeah. <laughs> people are you sent them to me. Uh, yeah, yeah. Gonna, no. But here, what's the other thing I want to point out about these pictures is like it. It's not just the it's not just the body composition, the size, and the weight, but it's like the skin. I mean, you had this like red inflamed face, the rosy cheeks, yeah, you know. Oh. You know I, I, I was your, your pretty stereotypical rosy cheeked fat man. Yeah, there you go. I was happy, but do you know what? I was constantly hot. You know, <laughs> and, and you're in the north of England. Yeah, <laughs> where it's really cold. Trust me, you do not want to be here in the winter by the sea. Yeah. Having said that, when it's minus two, there are dudes that go surfing. Yeah. Nuts. <laughs> Nuts. I, in, in those pictures I sent you, um, though, those wedding pictures I sent you were the ones that really tipped me over the edge, that made me want to find something that was just right for me, that would change me to be who I was and who I should have been. When you're wearing those suits and that, I just got so hot, and that's why I'm so red-faced because it's just wow. I've been there. You know? I've been there, man. Yeah. Yeah. I've just been uh, hot all the time, you know. Yeah, uncomfortable. And yeah, because you're 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 like you're like in you're in this in this you know you've got this coat of fat all over your body. 
Yeah. And you don't want to stand up straight, which is a really bizarre thing. You know, you want to hunch over and hide yourself away. And I never want to do that again. I never want to be that guy because I don't want my son to see me embarrassed of being who I am anymore. But, and I'm not. I feel so great about how I am now. And it's still getting better. Every time I go to the gym, you know, every time I pick up my kettlebell, I feel myself getting fitter and stronger. And I wouldn't feel like this if it wasn't for just stumbling across that paper and then finding Matt Emery's site. Oh, changed my life completely. Well, that's good. You know, we, I'll put up all the links to everybody so that they do get, the, they do get credit. And... Um, and uh, uh, it sounds like an interesting program where he has you to do uh, a couple of weeks um, basically fasting during the day and then eating as you normally would at night so that you get, or is it a week or something like that? And then it's, it's a couple of weeks. So you really get a sense for it and then you do the, do the same thing but with the paleo so you, get, you mm. have a real comparison in how you feel. So, so yeah. it's not even about at that point like weight loss or anything. It's, it's, it's getting a, your mind into the... Yeah, it's a great way to learn to recognize how your body feels from what you put in it, what you fuel it with. Uh-huh. And not everyone can dive in with that way. Some people can do, should just go paleo and just yeah. go with a ride. But I was so belligerent that I had to do it this way. It, this was going to work for me. And it wasn't easy, but I was so desperate to lose the fat and be healthy again that I had to do it. And it's not easy. And, you know, a couple of occasions through it, I kind of ate something in the day because I was just spinning out. Um, but yeah, you get used to it. And it's really good because every now and then I actually use a bit of intermittent fasting as well within yeah. my week, you know, a couple of times a week. You know, I don't eat from the evening, say 8 o'clock at night, and then I won't eat until lunch about 1, 2 o'clock yeah. the next day. Right. And that doesn't bother me at all. But I always used to be scared of that. And it was until oh. I spent that time at the beginning fasting that I thought, well, hang on, you can get through a day without needing to fill yourself full of bread or pasta yeah. or something to keep you going. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. But yeah, I'm glad I found that site. There you go. 